Welcome to my world, to the Garden of Eden, that most two-leggeds, i.e. yourselves that are watching this program, have forgotten about. People have even been searching for the original Garden of Eden, and that uh, actually makes us laugh when we look down upon you and watch you travelling around forgetting that Mother Earth is nurturing you every single day. Now, uh, you'll be interested to, or wondering who uh, I am and why am I, I'm actually talking to you about this. So let me introduce myself. My given name in this life is Lewis, and my other names from the past are many and I'll introduce a few of the more famous and well-known ones. My previous last life was a man called Ord Wingate. Now, that will be known to a certain number of people, but if you think of the Chindits and Burma in the Second World War, then you get an idea about what he was about. The Sitting Bull, the Lakota, medicine man from the, the past from Little Bighorn and that historical events. The Prince Charles Edward Stuart from the Culloden fame. The others are Akhenaten, Robert Roy McGregor from the McGregor clan, Daryl Eshan from the Sahara and uh, one of the most famous ones, and well known from myth and legend, King Arthur, of Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Now let me inform you of something that you've never been told of before. And the fact is that we know King Arthur, and we know that King Arthur, Buddha, Mohammed, and the Christian Son of God, as you call him, Jesus Christ, are one and the same person. Now there's a revelation for you to think about. And if I am the past King Arthur, at least that spirit in this body, then I am the other people and all the other people. The earliest was Evenu, king of Atlantis. And Evenu returned again in America as a Native American called Yellowcock. And Yellowhawk in Cherokee is Evenu. Now, this, the, what I have to say to you is extremely important that you listen to me because this will be the last time that this is said, because this is my last time on this planet. I will not be returning in any shape or form to this world to talk to you again. I have, this is the second time I'm here. And you Christians talk about the second coming. I've been here for quite some time in this life. And only two people have recognized me in the 62 years, which is what age I am now, and have called me by my name. So now I'm speaking to you about you two-leggeds and what you are not recognizing in yourselves and what things that you are not doing and should take note of. Mother Earth will nurture you but there will come a point where she will rebel. And there are two prophecies that are important for you to recognize and consider before it comes too late. But I would, we would say to you that this is not something to be afraid of. There is no fear intended. We are just pointing out something that will take place irrespective of what you do. Things will come about. And the first thing that will happen 
will be that all water will turn red and be undrinkable. which will be drinkable will be drinkable is well water everything else will turn red and that will be that every single being in the planet or the majority of them will disappear because water is what keeps you alive and if you contaminate it to a certain point that you are doing although you haven't quite reached that point yet but it is coming. The quickest way to destroy the two-legged race and all the other beings on the planet is to continue to use what you call the pill. When the pill in the water reaches a certain level, then everybody is infertile. Not just the two-leggeds, but the four-leggeds and every other living being on the planet. So you're, you are basically, as we say when we look down, going holus bolus to destroy yourselves. Or at least you imagine that you are actually destroying yourselves or attempting to. Isn't this beautiful? It's part of Mother Nature's bounty, but it's not infinite. She may decide to turn all this red. <laughs> 